At Berg's Disc Sports, we prioritize comfort, durability, functionality, value, and style. And you know we always have your back. So what I have to share with you guys today is three new Prodigy runs that I'm actually really excited about. Shout out to Power Grip USA for sending these to me. If you want to save some money at their website, click the link in the description below and all orders over $70 ship for free. I've got this really, really sick D4, this new plastic, the Air Spectrum plastic. Looks absolutely amazing. It's very swirly, it's very cool. Um, and this is a disc I'm really excited to throw. I've also got the 500 plastic MX2. This new 500 plastic is like a slightly more stiff and premium G-Star, but maybe even a little bit more grippy. Really, really cool disc. And then we've got some of the new Prodigy plastic that people are really excited about is this Fractal plastic. We've got the Fractal PA3. What I like about this is it's extremely stiff, but still like, you can kind of hear, we've got some grip to it. I like a putter that's extremely stiff, but still has that tackiness to it. KC Pro AVRs are that stiffness that I really love, but they don't have quite that tackiness to it. So I've been experimenting with the Kratos, with the Pixel and some other putters. I actually really like this Fractal blend um, as far as putting putter feel goes. And I think a lot of you guys that putt with PA3s are really going to be excited when you get your hands on this. So let's see how they perform. Let's see how they fly. We'll go Fractal PA3, then we'll throw the MX2 and the 500 plastic. And then the one I'm most excited about is this Air Spectrum D4. But we'll go flat with the Fractal PA3. Let's see how stable they are. Oh, she's beefy. The PA3 has always been known to be one of the more stable putters. And that's what Gannon Burr has really come to know. And when he moved to Discmania, I think he was having struggles replacing the PA3 because he was so used to that over stability. Let's try out this MX2 5403. I'm gonna put on a little bit of Anheuser. At my arm speed, this should pretty much go left straight away. Nice. I think that's how a lot of people expected the Isaac Robinson archives to fly, but they came out a little bit straighter. So if you're wanting the archive to be more stable, I think that would actually be the perfect disc for you. Now we've got the Air Spectrum D4. I was just throwing a normal Air D4 the other day and I was really enjoying the flight. This guy's a 162. Put it out on some hyzer and see if it is true to these flight numbers. Oh, she's a flip dog. She is a certified flip dog. We gotta go grab him and throw him back. I gotta make the correction with that D4. All right, I'm gonna throw this Fractal PA3 a lot harder the second time around. This is one of those discs that's so stable, basically no matter how I throw it, I think it's pretty much gonna find its way to the left. So we're gonna go up in the air, flat, slight ante, extremely hard, power grip. That is a very, very nice throwing putter. I'm really happy with how that's flying. One thing that's really important if you're trying to sell more discs is to just simply make your discs look really cool. This could be like the Thought Space Athletics route. Um, they've been becoming a lot more popular lately because they have really amazing artwork. They take a lot of time and do multiple different colored foils on each and every disc. So their discs look really cool and people will buy them for that reason. I think Prodigy is getting a lot closer with that fractal plastic. That looks amazing. Um, you also don't see a lot of really fun and cool looking putter blends. So I think when it comes to putter blends, that's one of the best looking putters that I've seen in a long time. Then we've got this 500 MX2, which has that sort of like old Innova-esque pearliness to it, which I'm also an absolute huge fan of. And then we've obviously got the swirly Spectrum plastic, which Prodigy has had locked in for a while. Their Spectrum has always looked pretty good, but that new Spectrum Air D4 looks really, really sick. Let's go with the MX2 here, same line. Both of those discs are absolute beauties. I'm really happy with what, what Prodigy has done with these new runs. It's taken some time to work things out, but if they can continue to make discs of this caliber, I do foresee them slowly becoming more popular, particularly in the US. I think they're still relatively popular in Europe. Um, they have a ton of really good European pros on the team and on the roster that are playing in Europe all year. I think if they can continue to make cool looking discs that 
are stable and perform well, then you will see more people throwing Prodigy out on your local course. All right, let's, let's hyzer this thing. Oh, she is really, really flippy. All right, it did come down from the tree. We'll do one bonus throw with the 400S, just so you guys can see. Like, this is the standard in my mind that I'm going to compare every Prodigy driver to for forever. Like, this is what every Prodigy fan wants in a driver. Little baby turn, extremely far distance, but with reliable stability. And I just threw that 430, 440. With relative ease, I mean, those 400 SD1s, they go far, they're stable. And that's why the Prodigy Pros keep going to those runs again and again and again. All right, let's give everything one last throw here. So far, I am totally satisfied with this Fractal PA3. They look sick, they fly nice and stable. And like I said before, I think it's a really great putter blend. I know most people like kind of tackier putters, so they'll buy softer putters to get that tacky feel. I think stiff putters are gonna give you a more consistent release. There's less deviation that can happen in your hand based on how much pressure you're putting through your fingers, depending on how hard you putt. A stiff putter is always gonna be more consistent. That's just my opinion. This gives you that stiffness you're looking for, but also that tackiness that I'm, I'm really enjoying. And I don't love the PA3 mold for putting, but if this was a mold that I like more for putting, I would certainly give this blend a try. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the PA3. It's too stable for me. I need a nice glidey putter. But as a thrower, this thing is still awesome. All right, we'll throw it and then we'll talk about the other two. I mean, I can trust this thing too, like power grip, any, and it's just gonna be nice and stable. We got a pretty good headwind, no problem. Ace the other basket. Oh, they are really, really stable. That Fractal PA3 is very, very stable for a baseline putter. This MX2, I'm curious to see how it performs on a forehand. Let's give it a little forehand toss here. Most, so it is a little bit more rounded on the edge than most other overstable mids. And I found that these more rounded overstable mids aren't quite as torque resistant. So we've got a pretty stiff headwind going on here. Let's just throw a flat forehand into the headwind and see if it still flexes out. Oh, that had no, I threw it straight into the ground, but there was no inclination that the, that disc was going to turn. Threw it in the ground probably because I didn't trust it. All right, Spectrum Air D4, stiff headwind. I mean, I'm shocked at how understable this is. It's supposed to be a minus two, two. Um, I think if you throw around 50 miles an hour, this is going to be an absolute money distance driver for you. Um, any juniors, any, you know, female FPO players, amateur female players, or anyone with a really, really slow arm or any masters players, you guys are really going to like this plastic, but I throw around 60 miles an hour, which is not that hard. And it's still probably a little too understable for me, but let's throw it on extreme hyzer and see if we can get it to fly at least kind of straight. I mean, There's no other way to say it. The Spectrum Air D4 is a certified flip dog and the normal Air D4 is actually quite a bit more stable than that. So I'm not really sure. My Air D4 is like 10 to 15 grams lighter and it's substantially more stable than that. But I have two thumbs up here from Prodigy. Um, just cause it's too flippy for me doesn't mean it's gonna be too flippy for you. Um, huge fan of the fractal plastic. If I like the PA3 as a mold, I would definitely consider putting with that plastic. I'll probably stick with the rubber blend Kratos for now. Um, but it's not the plastic's fault. It's just, I just don't like the mold. That MX2 and the 500 plastic, super beefy, surprisingly overstable. Air Spectrum D4, just astronomically understable. So if that's something you're looking for, for rollers, turnovers, you throw less than 55 miles an hour, then that thing's going to fly great for you. But anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Go check out my disc golf bag sponsor, bergsdisksports.com. You can use my code ICE20 to save... 20% on any bag over at the website. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate you guys and take care.